welcome to the best of Cool in Your Zip, the original show that takes you to cool places in Phoenix zip codes. I'm Devranya. Hello, and I'm Deborah. We are so excited about this special edition of Cool in Your Zip. We're going to look back in history and take a look at some of our favorite shows throughout the years. But first, we want to tell you about this cool place. We are at the Church Hill in the 004 in the Arts District in the heart of downtown Phoenix. That's right, and this place is so cool. It's all about community and giving back. It's the epitome of what Cooling Your Zip is all about. The Church Hill is home to 10 small local businesses. It's a mix of those established and startup entrepreneurs for a true spirit of collaboration. They host weekly service outings and each tenant completes four hours of community service each month. I love what the Church Hill is all about. The atmosphere here is happening. You have food, drinks, music, games. This place has it all. It's all the way live. It really does. And it really is a happening place. And we want to say a special thank you to the Church Hill for hosting us today for this special edition of Cooling Your Zip. We've been zipping all around Phoenix for a long time. We've featured over 60 cool wow, places. Wow, I can't believe that. 60, right? Yes. And you know, I still remember my very first zip. Oh my goodness, which one was it? It took me to the 020 at Let It Roll Bowl. so cool. Well it's cool for several reasons. It partners with Phoenix schools and charities. It's one of the only bowling alleys in town to offer a kids bowl free program. Okay, okay. And it supports local artists and musicians. Well I would say let it roll bowl is a winning strike. You get it? Winning yeah, strike. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, you're right. Well you know one of my very first cool years zipped was in the 006. It was okay. Los Altos Ranch Market yeah, and this Mercado, yeah. oh my gosh, it has everything. You can make Juices, fresh juices, panaderia, tamales, fresh tortillas. Okay. I mean, it is a super, super duper mercado. <laughs> I love it. So those were each of our very first zips, but let's talk some of our favorites. Oh my gosh, all of them are my favorites. Sugarfoot, Sugarfoot, come quick. What now, Lana? Who in your zip is here? We're gonna be on TV. Right. Ah! Come on, come on. No, 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 no. There you go. Now. There you go. that way, right? Every time we do a new zip, a new favorite. Oh my gosh, that is so true. Okay, let's, why don't we just start at the 013. Okay. That is the Refuge Coffee and Wine Bar. And this place is so cool because it's all about giving back to the community. And the food is pretty darn good there too. In fact, check out the tuna. Hello, I'm Deborah, and this is Cool in Your Zip, the show where we take you to pretty cool places right here in Phoenix. I'm here with John Strong. We're at the Refuge in the 013. John, why is this place so cool? It's a great little place. It's, it's a cafe where you spend your money and stays in the community. You know, uh, basically speaking, we have coffee, wine, food, a really relaxed atmosphere. But when you spend your money here, you're actually giving back to the community. So how does that work? It's totally 100% nonprofit organization? We are a for-profit taxpaying LLC. We are owned by a nonprofit. So all of our profits as a business go back into the nonprofit to help with veterans, foster kids, better women, better children, refugees, disenfranchised women upon reentry, trying to get them back into the work environment, teach them soft training, uh, soft work skills, resume writing, and just developmental soft work skills. So you recruit pretty people actually to work right here 
Ride the Refuge. Yes, we do. They're shouting you throughout the day, and you're teaching them, again, life skills. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's our goal. we got to put our money where our mouth is and try to exemplify a capitalism that cares. Exemplify capitalism that cares. I like that, and that's so important. I love it, especially here locally in Phoenix. In fact, the Refuge Cafe is a perfect example of a business that is thriving and giving back to our community. Well, another example is the Joy Bus Diner. I really love this place. That's a good story. Yes. Jennifer Caraway, the owner, she was actually a winning contestant on the Food Network's Chopped. And that prize money, it helped her fund the charity Joy Bus, which delivers healthy meals to cancer patients. Wow. Today we're in the 028 at Joy Bus Diner with Jennifer. Tell me why is this place so cool? So this place is so cool because the Joy Bus Diner it was for the community, by the community. This diner exists just to provide free meals to homebound cancer patients. And how did this all come about? Give me the backstory on it. Uh, the Joy Bus began in approximately 2011 when my friend Joy became ill with ovarian cancer. My background is the restaurant industry, so what I did was start to create little treats to come by and show her how much I loved and appreciated her. It was that that inspired me to create something bigger in her honor to try to help people that maybe didn't have the same support system that Joy had. There's two parts to this, so there's the restaurant and then there's the foundation side. The restaurant is totally 100% nonprofit, Correct. and that funds the foundation, right? Correct. Exactly. Um, and how that works is we needed a kitchen. Um, I was preparing the meals in my home and we were growing throughout the years that I had proposed to the board that we were at the position we needed to rent a location. Um, so why not, you know, not just incur the cost of the lease, open to the public, have 100% of the proceeds fund our programs for our cancer patients, and that way we're trying to get some sort of revenue coming in that we're not constantly begging for funds to keep the program going. Every month we have a different restaurant community partner who will help prepare the meals for our patients. They'll pick one menu item off of their menu and donate the proceeds to us throughout their chosen month. And then we have Crooked Sky Farms who donates all of the produce to us every single week for not only our patient meals, but for the diner meals as well. Volunteers, right? That's an important part of this. Oh, it's huge. This is not a one-man show by any means. I mean, our volunteers are very crucial to what we do every single day. Not only do we have volunteers in the diner, who are helping bus tables, make lemonade, make orange juice. We have prep cook volunteers as well. We also have volunteers who deliver all of our patient meals. Like we literally are by the community for the community. It's amazing to watch people stand up every day. And one thing that I have to mention that I love, I saw kids right over here designing the bags and those are the actual bags that you deliver the meals in, right? Definitely, we have all the local kids. We'll even have Girl Scout groups or local kindergarten classes who will design a bunch of bags, and that's what we deliver our patient meals in. I love stories like this. The Joy Bus Diner, it really touches the heart, right? Oh my God, great mission, great story, and I love all the community angles. You know what else I love about Cool in Your Zip? We find the fun in Phoenix. That was so much fun, and you know what? Some of the best scenes. The best we scenes were mine. Oh, oh my, my God! Cut, cut. Look at this. Welcome back at the hey, hey, it's great, great seeing you 
you great guys. to see you guys. You're still doing the show. You're still yes, doing the show. Yes, yes, My partner in crime here. Absolutely in crime. So, so yes. Trey used to actually host Cool in Your Zip. Well, until he got caught up, uh, literally, at the Pioneer Living History Museum. Did I do that? that? I think you did. Let's take a look. It's a Phoenix point of pride. It's a great place for kids, for adults, for everyone to come out and enjoy. It's like it's like you're back really in time. I mean, you guys have set it up like a real town. You got a bank, you got a church. I mean, can you imagine what it would have been like if, if we were back in the day? I mean, what we'd be doing? You ever, you ever wonder about that? Hey, this is what we think. Thanks, sir. Sure. Sure. That bank. Well, it is on tape, I guess. So. Gosh, it is. You know, you are the king of hijinks. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, from, oh my absolutely. God, you did the Wrigley Mansion where you like shook that tree the with tree the gum. You remember that gum, one? Yeah. Found the gum yeah, tree. Yeah. Found the gum tree. And how about that mascot? I, you know, mascots weird me out. That was but weird. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Trey was always stirring up some fun. I can tell you that. Uh, so, of all of the zips that you've done, uh, what was your favorite? Uh, there's been a bunch, but you know, I really like Barrio Bikes. That was a great oh, okay. story. Yeah, that was I a good that story. Yes. Mystery good Castle. Cause. Yes, yes. Mystery Castle is yep. very cool. Yes. I love that one. Uh, how about Arizona Military oh, Museum? Yeah, yeah. Can you believe they actually yes. had a mannequin that looked exactly like me? <laughs> no, there was only one Trey Goodman. But let's take a look. We are in the 008 at the Arizona Military Museum with Joe. Now, Joe, why is this place so cool? Because this portrays the military history of Arizona from the conquistadors all the way up to modern times, Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom and everything in between. It's a neat museum. It's just a lot of fun. Now, you're the director here, yep. but the public doesn't even really know about this. I mean, I was lucky to find out about it, but we got to let everybody know about this. It's on a military base. How do I get in? Just go in the main gate, 56th Street McDowell. Yeah. It's called 56th Street or Bushmaster Boulevard. Go to the main gate, show the gate guard your uh, driver's license because he wants to make sure you're allowed to drive, and ask him where the museum is, and come on in and enjoy it. And the museum is free. So it's open to the public, and it's free. It's free every Saturday and Sunday from 1 to 4. Now, what do you like about this place so much? I love this museum because it portrays the military history of Arizona. Arizona has a real colorful military history from when, the, when we were fighting the Apaches to we also portray Arizonans who served in the military. For example, this is, we're in the Vietnam Veterans Room. Okay, It's called the Vietnam Room and uh, no, there's no other Vietnam Room in the whole state of Arizona. There's no other place that portrays this and a lot of things are coming to, to the fore now about Vietnam and here's a place where Vietnam veterans can come and, and relax and, and see things that honor their service. You know what I enjoyed about it? You let me take my own personal tour, and I noticed it was all chrono chronological order, but you have mannequins wearing the authentic uniforms all the way through. I, I, I had to do a double take. Some of it seemed very real. I thought I was maybe looking at actually a real person. Well, good. <laughs> good. Then we're educating you. We're really showing. What we try to do here is portray the military history of Arizona and Arizonans who served in the military. You know, I have a uniform back over here that uh, one of my friends, we went to high school together. We played football, wrestled together. He went in the Navy. I went in the Army. He was a pilot, flew Phantoms in Vietnam. And I called him the other day. I said, John, what did you ever do with the uniform? He says, well, Joe, I have my flight suit in a box. Anyway, I said, what are you going to do? Have it be moth food? He sent it up here to me. I have the flight suit of a Marine aviator who flew in Vietnam and pictures of his aircraft, his F-4 Phantom. Now, you know what I like about this place is I, I, I walked around, I checked it out. You've got a lot of attention to detail. We do research here. We go to the archives. We go to the state law library, the historical library. And I found out when the National Guard was first formed about the first military code and how the first territorial governor got a whole $10,000 to raise five companies to fight the Apaches. It's really interesting. We love it. And we invite anybody who's remotely interested in history to come on out and see what a great state uh, is portrayed in this museum. Where's Trey? Well, you know, we can't keep up with that guy. He's always on the go. God, that is so else. true. That is so true. Now, you know, we have covered businesses, 
A lot of local businesses giving back to the community. We cover some really cool places to have a lot of fun. But what we haven't talked about are some non-traditional places for date night. I like. It's not just for passengers. Anyone can come down and enjoy the Sky Train. There's some spectacular views as well as great restaurants to visit here. That's right. You can hop aboard the free Phoenix Sky Train in a few minutes. You're here at the terminals. You can go to the museum gallery. You can go shopping. You can dine at one of our great restaurants. It makes a fun date night. Who would think that the Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport would be the perfect place to take a date. Like you said, you have it all from the museum to great restaurants, and I bet the kids love it. Kids do love it. There's a great ride aboard the Phoenix Sky Train. There's views of the city, the Air National Guard, the mountains. It's gorgeous. Kids love it. They can see aircraft taking off and landing. And what's the most fascinating thing that would you say about the Sky Train or Phoenix Sky Harbor? Well, our SkyTrain passes over an active taxiway, so you can be aboard the Phoenix SkyTrain and a plane can be going underneath. That's pretty cool. with Brooke at Pinspiration. Tell me, why is this place cool? Pinspiration is so cool because we're the first, the premier uh, Pinterest-inspired DIY studio. So we found a way to make it really easy. We bring you a project kit and you make everything right here. That's very convenient, and I love the space, the studio space, it inspires creativity as well. Thank you, yeah, we tried to um, use Pinterest in the design of our studio, um, anywhere from our penny countertops, um, you know, to our chandeliers, and um, all the decor is inspired by Pinterest. Well, and how does it work? So when you have a guest come in, walk me through it, what, what happens? Sure, so when you come in the studio, in the front we have about 50 or 60 different project samples. And those are all um, trendy DIY projects or seasonal projects. And you choose one that you'd like to make, and then we bring you a tray with all the supplies and the materials to make that project. And then we give you an iPad tutorial. So on the tutorial are the steps that you follow, and you guide yourself through the project. And then if you have questions, we have staff available to assist. Sounds fun, sounds fun. creative. Everyone here can be an artist from young to old. You have something for everyone. What about some of the classes? Absolutely, so we also offer workshops um, and anything from floral arranging to calligraphy, um, jewelry soldering is popular right now. Mm -hmm. um, things that maybe you wouldn't try yourself but um, allow you to make, to explore a skill, mm -hmm. a skill set. And that skill set is something that I'm looking to explore myself. Yeah. You know, I think I have a little inner artist inside of me. I know you do, Javranya. Let's yeah, try that. Let's <laughs> try that. It would be a perfect date night even. It is, you know, we do get a lot of couples in for date night. Uh -huh. um, and we have, you know, kids' birthday parties, we have bridal showers and bachelorettes, we do tons of corporate team builders. Really, there's something for everyone. And it's just like the premier spot. I see a bar right behind us too. You notice that, we call that <laughs> creative juices. Uh -huh. um, and we offer, yeah, beer, wine, champagne, um, some small bites. So it's a lot of fun if uh, you need a little extra inspiration. Creativity lives at Pinspiration. Yes, it sure does. In fact, the art scene in Phoenix is all around. Mm -hmm. These next two zips, we feature the arts. Hello, I'm Deborah, and this is Cool in Your Zip the show where we take you to pretty cool places right here in Phoenix. We're in the 018 at the Schemer Art Center. I'm here with Shauna. Why is this place so cool? Hi, Deborah. Welcome. Hello. It's cool because not a lot of people know about the Schemer Art Center, and it's been a visual art center and a great resource for families since 1984. Wow. Well, give me a little history about this beautiful place. Absolutely. It was the very first house built in Arcadia. And in 1978, it was just had been 50 years of private residence for the Sur family. They were the heirs to Pen Pennzoil. 
and Martha Schemer bought it and decided to give it to the city of Phoenix, who at that time was uh, were creating the Phoenix Office of Arts and Culture, so they be decided it would become an art center. So it's totally gifted to the city of Phoenix. Yes. It's owned by the city of Phoenix, but you have a lot of partnerships to actually run the day-to-day. -day. Absolutely. We have a nonprofit. Our, we run the day-to-day -day operations as a nonprofit, and um, it's called SACAMA. It's the Schemer Art Center and Museum Association, Inc., and that's why the sale of everything that you see here is so important because a percentage of it benefits us and allows us to keep running visual art classes, lectures, art renaissance workshops, things like that. Okay, so you, you touched upon a, a couple of things and why it is so cool. So you have adult classes, you have children classes, workshops, lecture series. You also have events throughout the year too to help sustain the running of the, the center. Tell me about that. Yeah, absolutely. We have four major events. Our first one is the Furry Friends Fine Arts Festival and that's fun because it's all pet related art and vendors. So a lot of people like bringing their animals to that. Then we have our major Schemer Arizona Arts Festival in November. We have a, a fancy dinner in November called Schemer Honors, which is mirrored after the Kennedy Honors Program, but we gear it to arts. And then um, we have our Tiny Living, uh, Tiny Houses event in February and March every year. It's Southwest Micro Living. Wow, and they're really, really tiny. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, so some of these classes, all the, uh, the, some, uh, the art is actually adorned some of these walls. Local artists, there's all for sale. You have a gift shop, let's talk about that. Absolutely, our gift shop showcases Arizona artists only, which is what our mission here is at the Schemer. And we have just everything that you could want. Stop by, get a greeting card, a scarf, a beautiful painting or a piece of ceramic. And it's easy to access, it's affordable, and just again, a hidden gem. I'm Deborah. We're in the 004, and this is Cooling Your Zip, the show that we take you to pretty cool places right here in Phoenix. We're at the Herberger at the Lunchtime Series. Judy, what's this all about? Well, hi, Deborah. Um, lunchtime Theater is a really cool program because it, it, it's an outreach to two different groups. First of all, it's an outreach to young theater companies and young artists who don't have a, a place to perform of their that they own. And then it's an outreach to seniors and to anyone else who wants to grab some culture at lunchtime. Uh, tickets are only $7, and you can order a lunch and have lunch while you watch a wonderful show from Tom and Lynn Catering. Um, we've been, this is our 17th season. And, uh, wow. Right. I yeah. can't believe it. I mean, we are right in the midst, a midst of like a little rehearsal, pre-rehearsal before the actual show. Exactly. Tell, yeah, tell me about this show. Well, this is from a group called Scan Originals, and they do amazing musical shows every year that um, their, their leaders, Ann and Scott, put together. That's where Scan came from. But this one is called From the Bard to Broadway, and it features musicals that uh, were based than Shakespeare's plays. And there's also some Shakespeare some Shakespeare language in it, but mostly it's a musical review. Well, I love it. I love the whole concept and the idea that this is lunchtime people, lunchtime theater, which means you could have your lunch, enjoy the theater for a pretty good price. Yeah. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. So what? So what? What's the, the to get tickets online? Call. What's the yeah, easiest yeah, way to do it? Yeah, you can you can go to our the Herberger Theater Center www.herbergertheater.org. Go to community. Go to lunchtime, and through that you can uh, buy tickets, order your lunch, get the whole season schedule, and uh, or you can call our office and call Mary Robinson, who's my associate, at 602-254-7399, extension 104, for your group. And practically, this is year round. This is you have your play. You have a playbill that has theater throughout. What's the process for somebody to actually, let's say, I'm interested in coming in and performing my performing. flamingo? Okay. So well, what do you, you do? Need, you need to get a hold of Judy Rowling. Okay, that's <laughs> you. Okay. I'm the artistic director of the program, and what I do is I vet anybody who is interested in Got performing it. here. Okay. We have many, many companies that return year after year, but we all often have open slots right. and I will look at what your material is, I might, I might have you audition for me and then if there's a slot we'll put you in for the following year. From the arts to community-based businesses, Phoenix has it all. Yes, it does. And we want to remind you to shop local, shop Phoenix. It really helps out our community.
We're in the 021 at Bookman's. I'm here with Katie. Why is this place so cool? Well, we are the largest local used bookstore in the state. So we have everything from books, movies, music, musical instruments, vinyl, you name it. We have all different types of things. And not only do we sell them, you can bring them in and trade in your old stuff for trade credit or for cash. So how do you collect all of these new things? A lot of it's local, but what's the process? So you can bring in your stuff. We're open all day, um, every day, and just bring it to the trade counter. You don't have to make an appointment. Um, trade it in, we'll give you a deal, and you can accept it if you'd like to. If you, you don't have to if you don't want to, but you can get trade credit or cash and um, then you can buy more stuff. And it's all about recycling right back in. That's right. I love it. Today we're in the 013 with Heather at Sweet Salvage. Tell me, why is this place so cool? Sweet Salvage is so cool because we are a four-day themed monthly vintage market. And we curate and bring items, vintage items from across the country um, to our guests in a themed show once a month. We wanted to be able to bring the community together with nostalgia and fun, and that's what we have done. I love it. This place is definitely happening. It's cool. Remember to shop Phoenix right here at Sweet Salvage in the 013. That's cool in your zip. If you know of a cool spot that we should feature on Cool in Your Zip, send us an email at coolinyourzip at phoenix.gov and be sure to follow us on social media. And we want to give another shout out to the Churchill for hosting us today yeah. for this Thank special you. edition. Thank Absolutely. You. I'm Deborah, And I'm Jeronia. See you around town. <laughs> this atmosphere is probably one of the best in Phoenix. We have food, music, drinks, games. <laughs> it's all over the place with that one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very authentic. It is super duper authentic and super duper special. Mercado. <laughs> I totally screwed up. Sorry. Oh. I love it. So those were each of our very first. I was first looking zips. my lips. I'm sorry. Oh. I, I was going like a. No, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I was looking my right. lips. The hair is gonna make loop. And I haven't powdered yet. Is my powder? I mean, <laughs> right? sorry, 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 sorry. I just, it just like, it just needs to go there. That's right. And we want to thank again the Churchill for hosting. They have this special edition. Wow. <laughs> My stomach's growling. My stomach's growling. <laughs> Mine is too. I get silly when I get hungry. I'm sorry, guys. 